Good day everyone! Today we will be talking about integers. Integers are numbers found on a number line composed of whole numbers and their opposites including zero. Now let us visualize integers using a number line. Now numbers on the right are positive integers. In the middle is zero and numbers on the left are negative integers. Now, 0 is neither positive nor negative. Since this is a number line, it could extend in both sides infinitely. Then again, the numbers to the right of 0 are called positive integers, and the numbers to the left of 0 are called negative integers. On the other hand, we could also visualize integers using circles or colored chips. For positive integers, we represent yellow circle and red circles for negative integers. Now, positive integers are greater than negative integers. Now, let's compare integers. The value of an integer gets smaller as you move farther to the left of 0. In this example, we have negative 2 is bigger than negative 5 since negative 2 is closer to 0. So, this is our 0. A negative 2 is closer to 0 than negative 5. So as you move farther to 0, the value of integers decreases. Now on the other hand, as you move farther to the right of 0, it becomes larger. Just like here, so from 0, we have here counting numbers from 1 to infinite numbers. In a number line, you can use horizontal or vertical line. So like this one. Numbers above zero are positive numbers and numbers below zero are negative. Now the value of an integer gets smaller as you move farther below zero and it gets larger as you move farther above zero. Let's talk also about absolute value. Absolute value pertains to the distance of a number from a reference point zero. We use two lines here for the symbol of absolute value. So here in this example, A means the absolute value of A. For example, if we get the absolute value of negative 5, so the absolute value or the distance is 5 units from 0. Since we are asking for the absolute value of negative 5 and from 0 to negative 5, it is 5 units. So the distance of a number from a reference point 0 or the absolute value is 5. Let's have examples to visualize more on integers. Use an integer to represent each situation. We have a submarine cruises at a depth of 50 meters. If we visualize it, our sea level is zero. And since it says here depth, it is below sea level. That means it is negative 50. Another situation, Anna has a depth of 25 pesos. So since we are talking about depth, that means Anna owes money. And that represents negative integer so we have here negative 25 next the price increased by three pesos so our keyword here is increase that means it's positive and we can just try three here another situation the temperature is three degrees below zero so our keyword here is below that means it represents negative integer so we write here negative three another one jackie got two demerits for coming late for school demerits represents negative therefore we write negative Two. And last one, John withdraws 500 pesos from his account. Withdraw represents negative, so you're gonna get money. That means we write negative 500. This time, let's compare the two given integers. So we have here negative 5 and 5. So we write less than, greater than, or equal to. And our answer here is less than. So 5 is greater than negative 5 so we have negative 10 and negative 9 which is greater negative 9 or negative 10 so negative 9 is greater than negative 10 because negative 10 is is far from 0 than negative 9 next 0 and negative 4 so 0 is greater than negative 4 7 and negative 3 so 7 is greater than negative 3 we have negative 15 and negative 20. So negative 15 is 
bigger than negative 20 and 2 and negative 8. 2 is greater than negative 8. This time, we will compare and arrange the following integers in increasing order. We have your first example. We have negative 2, 3, 7, and negative 8. So since it is increasing, that means we start from the smallest number. With these four numbers here, the smallest number is negative 8. So we write here negative 8. The next is negative 2. So we start from the negative numbers and then positive. So we write here 3 and 7. So this is our answer. Next, we have 12, negative 13, 5, and negative 5. So the smallest number is negative 13 because negative 13 is far from 0 than the other numbers here. Next is negative 5. Then we have here 5 and then 12. Next, we have 0, negative 10, 11, negative 9, negative 6. So the smallest number here in this set is negative 10 then negative 9, then negative 6, then 0, then 11. Next, we have the smallest number is negative 11, then negative 9, then negative 5, then negative 2, and then 0. So that's how you compare and arrange integers in increasing or decreasing order. Let's proceed with decreasing order. So we have, when you say decreasing order, that means from highest to lowest number. In this first example, the highest numbers will start from the, the highest or positive numbers since we are decreasing. So this is 15, that's the highest number. Then the next one is negative 2. So negative 2 is greater than negative 3 and negative 3 is greater than negative 7. So negative 7 is the smallest number. Next, 10, negative 7, 8, and negative 4. 10 is the highest number, then 8, then negative 4, then negative 7 is the smallest number. Next, so look at the positive numbers first and see what is the greatest number. So we have here 10, then we have 5, then we have 0, and negative 1 is greater than negative 20. And last example, we have 4, okay, then 0, then negative 1, then negative 2, then negative 6. 